sweet friends welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new here today's video is a little bit different I'm taking you along for our day um, I have a Dollar Tree kind of like shop with me um, looking around to see what they have for spring and everything they have out I'm gonna share that with you um, I have a little herbal haul of all of like the new herbs that I'm getting for teas and tinctures and all that kind of stuff. I have a healthy lunch recipe to share with you and then just some few other things that I want to share as well. So I hope you will enjoy today's video. I hope you enjoy coming along with us today. Um, I know it's been a while since I've shown my face on here. We have been, it was like back to back that we got sick. We had ended up with like the neurovirus tummy bug and then that literally turned right into a cold. As you can hear, I'm still not 100%. My voice is still kind of in and out. Um, and so I'm still not 100% from that, but I'm feeling a little bit better. So I wanted to just take you guys along for the day, kind of share with you um, everything that we're doing today. And I hope you enjoy. I thank you all so much for all of your prayers and all the love on my Sunday video. I really appreciate that so much. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate it. Um, I did want to give you guys a little update if you've been following along with our moving journey. Um, we are looking at moving at the end of March, maybe like beginning of April, somewhere around there. So that is super exciting as well. I knew I, knew I wanted to like update you guys when I got an update, but um, we had not really had a specific update but now we know you know a little bit better of a time frame and so I'm excited to share that with you guys and I can't wait for all the moving content and um, just all the things that we're gonna be doing to the new house and all of that good stuff I can't wait to share all that with you but anyway let's go ahead and jump on into today's video so I thought it'd be fun just to take you into Dollar Tree and show you all of the like Easter and spring stuff they had. The first thing I've seen were all these different crosses. That one said love. This one is faith. There is blessed and hope. And they all said like something different and had a little different phrase at the bottom. Were all different colors and they were just so cute. I didn't end up getting any just because, you know, with moving and stuff, I don't want to bring too much extra decor in right now, but I thought they were really cute. They'd be cute, um, like near a tiered tray or just up on a shelf somewhere, but they had tons of different Easter supplies for crafts for kids, for decor, um, just a whole bunch of different items, really cute stuff to fill baskets or make your own Easter baskets with like the ribbon. There's all these different wooden um, shapes like birds and eggs and bunny feet and all that stuff you could make a really pretty garland with. There are beads for tiered trays, just you name it. They had a lot of cute stuff. And these uh, carrots, I thought those carrots would be really cute in like the back of like one of the little red trucks or like a blue truck or something. I thought those would be really, really cute. And their floral game is definitely stepping up. I did pick up a little bundle of some white flowers so I can put them in a little vase that I have um, but at the bottom here I seen all these little gnomes and all the little mushrooms the gnomes made me think of my friend Jessie from Mama Jessie J she loves gnomes of like any kind and so when I saw those I like instantly thought of her but I thought the little mushrooms and the gnomes were really cute and just really whimsical and I don't know I liked those a lot they'd be really cute and like a little um flower garden outside but they just have tons of spring decor out right now so definitely if you're on the hunt for some reasonable decor check your dollar tree 
even their three to like five dollar you know dollar tree target spot you know the thing like target five dollar spot i can't even think right now um but the little five dollar section dollar tree had lots of different good items as well when i saw these little soap dispensers i thought they were the cutest thing they'd be really nice and like a guest bathroom or kids bathroom I thought they would be really fun just to decorate in there and then they had all their Easter baskets down on the bottom shelves over here as well as all the stuff that you could fill the Easter baskets with the egg decorating all of that stuff we're not huge into doing like Easter baskets and whatnot we do we just celebrate resurrection um, and Good Friday so you celebrate resurrection Sunday and Good Friday um, but there's just so much cute stuff. You can make little goodie bags for kids' schools or put all this little stuff in the Easter baskets. Just lots and lots of good ideas. So I thought it'd be fun to just show you guys around what ours looked like and maybe give you some inspiration. And if you're needing any seeds, Dollar Tree has a lot of their seeds out right now, vegetable seeds and flower seeds. I did end up picking up some flower seeds so I could do another flower garden this year so I did get some of those but they had just a bunch of variety and lots and lots of good seeds and outdoor gardening supplies different shears and rakes you can put together just a bunch of different stuff so definitely check out your Dollar Tree if you're in need of anything like that I was really hoping these were dish towels, but they were napkins, so I left them behind. But if those were dish towels, those totally would have came home with me because I loved the colors and I thought they'd be a perfect pop-up color for spring. But now that we are back home, I'm going to share with you just a quick, easy lunch that is really healthy. I've just been craving something healthy after getting over the tummy bug and then moving right into a cold, which you can probably tell by my voice. I'm not still a hundred percent but we're finally getting over a cold and I was just craving something that would just fuel my body good and um, something healthy so I had these carrots in the fridge I had a bell pepper and some broccoli and so I'm just gonna peel the carrots dice those up and cut up the bell pepper into about one inch squares and same with the broccoli and I'm gonna go ahead and lay all of that out on a baking sheet I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 and then once I get everything cut up and on the baking sheet I'm going to drizzle it with olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika and then just a tiny bit of balsamic vinaigrette and I'm going to bake those at 400 until they're done which usually is about 25 minutes for my oven for carrots so I just baked those until they were done and it made a really really awesome lunch and they were even really good if you sprinkle like a little bit of parmesan cheese or mozzarella cheese on top of it it was so filling and just so delicious that it it made me feel so good eating it and that's just the thing I needed after being sick with the tummy bug and a cold I just could feel my body telling me that it needed something really good so I wanted to take that time today to get myself a good lunch so if you are you know trying to eat a little bit healthier or are just kind of you know like me just craving something really good if you have any vegetables in your fridge that you want to use up or just have on hand this is a really good quick lunch option.
and now I'm gonna go ahead and make some oregano oil I have been wanting to make this for a while and I just haven't but especially after having tummy bug and then a cold back to back I am just so over being sick to be honest so I wanted to go ahead and get some oregano oil made there are so many benefits to oregano oil it's antibacterial antimicrobial antifungal it's just all around really really good for you um, as a daily supplement but also like one to three times while you're sick so all I'm doing is taking some of my dehydrated um, or dried oregano that I pulled from my garden this year and putting it in a mason jar and covering it with some olive oil. I'm going to go ahead and just let that sit for a couple weeks, giving it a shake every day or every couple days and just let that infuse really well over the next couple weeks. And then this will be good to take and put some drops underneath your tongue and just have a you know natural antibiotic and natural medicine on hand. I am really trying to switch over to you know more like holistic medicine. I've always been somebody who is into essential oils, topically aromatherapy, um, internally you know when buying the correct oils and. I've always been somebody who is into that and more, you know, natural medicine anyway, but anything else that I can add to our regimen that will help, I am all for willing to do. That's why we do like the elderberry syrup and all of that regularly. But anyway, enough about that. My kids were begging me for popsicles and I don't like to give my kids a lot of dyes. I like to try to keep them as dye free as possible, um, just for personal preference and over the um, last couple years, I had canned some different fruit preserves and um, different fruit, and the strawberry preserves make a really good um, popsicle base. So I just went ahead and poured the mason jar into my blender and then blend that up, getting it nice and smooth, and then just go ahead and pour it into my popsicle molds and pop these in the freezer. And within a couple hours, we have really good, delicious homemade popsicles that are filled with real fruit. I did can it, you know, um, so it's been on our canning shelf for about a year, but it makes really good popsicles and the kids absolutely love it. And so the cost is extremely low. Um, the time it took to make these was no time at all. And it's a lot healthier for them than store-bought dye-filled popsicles. So I went ahead and made those, but I did want to share with you um, like I had mentioned, I was getting into more holistic medicine and things like that. And so I wanted to go ahead and get some more herbs on hand that I just haven't had the chance to grow um, and just don't harvest myself yet. So I got some lemon balm leaves. I got some chamomile whole flowers. I got lavender and then I got rose as well. And these I can infuse in um like a vodka or you know to make tinctures or a vegetable glycerin to make tinctures um, or I can make teas out of it and so I'm definitely gonna be making some herbal teas but the other thing that I got was um, silver hydrosol or um, colloidal silver if you've heard of that that's a really good antibiotic as well and immune boosting supplement so I got that for the kids and myself um, my cousin was telling me about it and then also my friend Jesse from Mama Jesse J had told me about it as well and so I went ahead and picked some of that up just to add to our daily regimen because it can't help or I mean it can't hurt anything um, it can only help so I am just adding all of the natural things I can so we can just be healthier be on the mend this is our first year having a kid in school and so it seems like you know when kids go to school it just the germs spread 10 times more so we're not quite used to um, having sickness around that much, but we are going to get through it one day, one step at a time, and um, I'm just excited to be able to introduce all of this, uh, all these new herbs, and I have actually made some tea with them since. I did each one of these, the lavender, the chamomile, the lemon balm, and the rose infused in a tea and then added some honey to it, and oh my goodness, it was the most delightful tea my husband, who's somebody that doesn't, you know, really like herbal teas too much, I had him try it and he actually liked it as well. So this is definitely a, a tea staple in our house, but I figured I would share. 
I want to thank you all so, so much for watching today's video. As always, if you're in need of any kind of prayer, leave it down in the comments. I would love to say a prayer for you. But until I catch you in the next one, I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye, y'all.